Hey everybody, my name's Chad. This is a step-by-step -step guide for CloudBlock, a project that I wrote. This is the first half of the step-by-step -step guide. You'll follow this before you go into the cloud-specific instructions. Um, so whether you're deploying this in AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, or Oracle Cloud, we'll run through these steps first, and then there will be a video specific to each cloud provider for the second half. I'll have links to those videos in the description of this one and on the GitHub page. Let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is be at the GitHub project page, scroll to the top and then pick any of the cloud providers. The instructions are the same no matter which one you choose here. Let's scroll down to step-by-step. Step. We're going to install Windows Subsystem Linux. This is kind of a compatibility layer that allows us to install our tools and deploy our project. We need to launch an elevated PowerShell prompt, so we'll right-click PowerShell, I'll find it, right-click, and then run as administrator. I'm prompted for a yes or no, I'll hit yes, and there's my administrator PowerShell prompt. We need to enable Windows Subsystem Linux. This is a long command, make sure you grab the whole thing, and then to paste in PowerShell, right-click. I'll hit enter and Windows Subsystem Linux has been enabled. Now, there's a no restart flag here. You'll need to restart your machine manually. Go ahead and do so now if you've never activated Windows Subsystem Linux before. I've already done it, so I'll skip ahead. We move back over to the left. So there you go, reboot if you need to. Next, we need to launch a regular PowerShell prompt. We don't need this elevated prompt anymore. I'll close this one out. And for a regular PowerShell prompt, I'll find PowerShell again and left click, and there's my normal prompt. We want to download the Ubuntu 18.04 package. This is a version of Linux that's compatible with the tools that we'll be installing. It'll take just a moment to download. Ubuntu is finished downloading. We want to rename the download from Apex to zip. Done. And then we expand that zip into a folder directory. Let's change into the directory that got expanded. And then finally, we run the installer. This uh, eventually will prompt us for a username and password. I'll be back for that. Okay, it's prompting for the username. I'll keep it simple. And then also a password Remember this password, we'll use it later on. We're now in Windows Subsystem Linux. If you ever close this window and you need to get back in, fairly straightforward, open PowerShell and type in WSL. That gets us back into Windows Subsystem Linux. One other thing that might be important, you wanna to get to your home directory, you type in CD space and then the squiggly line and there you are, you're in your home directory in Windows Subsystem Linux. You can exit with exit. All right, we've created the username and password. We're in Windows Subsystem Linux. Let's install Terraform Git and create an SSH key pair. Paste it in. There's our password prompt for the password we just created. Next, we will add the Terraform repository this will take just a second, I'll be back. Repository is done and let's install Terraform in Git. Terraform and Git are installed. We can use Git to clone the GitHub project. This is the same link that you'd find in your web browser. All right, the project has been cloned. And finally, we create an SSH key pair. It's going to ask us for the location of the key pair to be stored. The default is perfect. I'll just hit enter. It's also asking for a password, which is optional. I'm gonna leave it empty, that's fine. And it's gonna ask me to confirm. I'll hit enter again. There we go. The GitHub project has been cloned. The SSH key has been generated. We're good to go. Follow along in step two in the links in this description or on the GitHub page. Also a quick note. Um, occasionally, I'll update the project and then need to update these videos uh, in association. So if there's a new feature or a bug has been found and then fixed, 
you may see a new version of the video pop up that addresses those bugs or new steps if there's some, some new step that needs to be involved. Um, this is the second uh, version of this video. That's about it, everyone. Um, if you do have issues, you can reach out to me. Uh, I've gotten a lot of great commentary, ideas, feedback, and then concerns from users that may have run into problems. That just serves to make this project better. Don't hesitate to reach out. You can hit me up at Discord. I'll put it in the, uh, the description of this video and on GitHub. Or you can reach out on Reddit if you find me there. Or uh, create a GitHub issue if you find a problem and need uh, or have an idea and are interested in making this project better. Thank you.